been a while since I did a must read. A really good while since I did a must read was since the last web comic book I picked up, which was Sleepless Domain, which you still must read because there's a lot more chapters that I read after I read the first volume. And my goodness, it gets good. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about another webtoon book, another web comic book. And this one is good as too. This is from the same website as Hooky came from, um, Webtoons. However, this one was done with more care. And the name of that book is called Entwined. Entwined by Plaveus. Plaveus. Plaveus, I don't know much about them besides this book. But I do know that they do have their own YouTube channel. They actually show the progress on how they make this book, the characters, the art designs, all that stuff. And of course, they have a Twitter and an Instagram as well. And this is their first book, um, Entwined. Entwined is it's very... I, I believe this is their first work. Even for their first work that I know of, it's very impressive. It's very good. Let's just talk about the thesis of this book. You know, it's very simplistic, but hey, sometimes you don't always need to reinvent the wheel. You just add your own little touch to it. You know, make it look nice. Your own style. So this is synthesis of this book. Legend says that the door of the land was maintained by the light entity, Lydia, and the dark entity, Gerard. Life was blessed with a fleeting peace that was overthrown when Gerard sought destruction and declared war. To, to reclaim harmony, Lydia had no choice but to sacrifice herself and seal both their souls in a stone secured by two swords holding both of their powers, the light sword and the dark sword. Is this legend real, or is it a myth? None of that matters to Sakura, but with the return of her childhood friend, Hideki, after seven years of absence, Sakura's life turns upside down. The world she knew is no longer the same. So yes, it's, it's a very simplistic story, but it reminds me of those stories back in the 80s and the 90s. You know, you had two childhood friends or two brothers and sisters. They don't get along or things have changed over the years. And then you go on this mystical adventure of new friends and enemies, and they learn to reconnect and stuff. That's what it reminds me of, you know, those good old days as a child, you know, not this crap we have now. You know, Everything's all about superheroes, but the journey, a child's journey of self-development and growth. This is good. So, you can read this for free on Webtoons. Recommend it. It'll help out them tremendously. But also, there's a book. This book started on a Kickstarter campaign. For them to start off the first volume. And I, of course, I got the highest one you can get. The Golden Edition. I got myself a nice little... Um, bookmarker. Really, really good bookmarker. You know, I like it. You know, it shows the other characters. Hideki in the center. You got Sakura and the others and stuff. Even the antagonists and stuff. And the first volume is just enough to kick you off to get very interested and invested into the story. Make you like, okay, I gotta go read the rest of this. And hopefully they will make another book volume so I can hold it in my hands and stuff. The art style is nice. It's good. It reminds me of the days of the Tokyo Pop era. You know, where everyone was making manga back in the day. You know, that's what it reminds me of. It's really good. I even got it um, signed by it, too, to um, my name saying, Thank you so much for your support, Plaveus. And I'd like to thank you for making such a good book. So good that I just had to kickstart. You know, these are one of the things I love doing is, you know how people always complain how they're sick and tired of the mainstream? If you are, you like the stuff that the little people do or others do, support them. Always support them. If they're doing something that you know that they that you like, not just support them just by buying the book, but also sharing it, telling people about it. You know, like, yo, man, you gotta read it. It's for free. You pick it up. Hell, and if it does, you know, always support them by buying their merchandise, buying their books. And I always do that, you know. I just love it. This is really, really good. If you're sick and tired of the mainstream stuff, here you go. Now, let's talk about this campaign that they kicked off. The campaign was, in my opinion, was better than the career of Hookie. Don't get me wrong. Hookie is still my most favorite webtoons of all time. 
Kentucky still is, along with their Devil's Candy, Sleepless Domains, and plenty others. But this one was done right. The fact that it was done by a smaller group, probably done by themselves, with this one campaign, they did a better job. See, when I always did my reviews of the hooky volumes, my problem was is that there was a lot of cut content and a lot of grammar and spelling errors. To the point of like, yo, um, this was supposed to be done by professionals here. You know, professionals. But yet I'm getting all these errors. I'm getting all this cut content. It makes you wonder why you're buying the book. Because the book doesn't have everything. Even those who don't read the webtoon, I gave it to them to read. They can tell if they feel like some things were cut out from the book. And they were right. Like, wow, you can even tell this without reading the actual webtoon? They could tell that. This one, no cut content. None of that. It makes the book truly worth buying because it has everything there. You can really go back to the webtoon and read it there. And it should be just as good, but in a nice, um, less webtoon format, but more of a comic book format. Which is, if it does up your alley, there you go. So, I have to give them total props for that, you know, they're doing a good job of that. Um, Sleepless Domain did the same thing and stuff like that, so there's a, that as well. So, this video is going to be short because I want to just give a shout out to them, Plaveus. You know, you can find them on their YouTube channel, Twitter, Instagram, of course, Webtoons. Go read their books any way you can, support them any way you can, because it's pretty good. It's not the greatest thing ever, but it's good, you know. For that simple stuff that you missed back in the 80s and 90s. You know, children and brothers and siblings and stuff going on adventures of magical powers and evil and good. That, that good old stuff back in the day. We need to bring that stuff back. I'm going to feel like if they did, they'll screw it up. <laughs> so it's just best to go find that stuff and just rewatch it. And just relive in the moments of those times. So anyway, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has been the background on Anime. <laughs> Signing out.